Hi all welcome back in this video we will be discussing like how you can prepare your history civics schedule so that you can get maximum marks in your board exam so as we know history civics exam will be held on 28th of april so we have to plan accordingly so today is 26th so we only have that is 26th evening or the night and then 27th entire day and we know like the slavers has been so much cut off like we can just prepare the entire history civics slavers within a day also so let's start like today you can take your rest and if you really want to study then you can just study the first three chapters or the entire last three chapters you can say un once and then you can just go take rest and tomorrow you can give a fresh start again but if you feel like we can start tomorrow only so let me give you a glimpse like how you can plan your day for 27th like tomorrow so what you can do for the his you can just start at 11 and then for the first world war in the first world war you can just prepare from 11 to 11 30 max to max okay so 11 to 11 30 it will take hardly and then as you know in rise of dictatorship you have only one last paragraph that is coming the difference paragraph in this you are asked the difference between okay so that is only a one paragraph so it will hardly if you want you can take 15 minutes for this and then you are taking here half an hour in the second world war you can again take if you feel like like there is not so much coming in the this chapter also if you feel you can take another half an hour or 45 minutes for this so max to max what we can say um, you can finish the world war chapters by 1 30 pm okay by 1 30 pm you will be over with your first half of the history now in the second half you can finish the un major agencies because there is not so much coming here also under the definitions and uh, major agencies you are just asked there what are they are working and how they are elected so there are not too much things to be asked in detail you are just giving paragraphs so here also you can take around let's say 90 minutes to study so here if you go for 1 30 and then you, you can take a 30 minutes break and then you can come back at 2 p.m from 2 p.m you can take your 90 minutes and let's say if you thoroughly want to revise again your last three chapters that also you have done so by 4 p.m you should finish your history civics okay by 4 p.m what you can do just finish off with your history part okay so you are done from 11 to 4 you can finish your history then you can take one hour again break and then you can give a fresh start for civics at 5 pm okay then you can do your civics civics also as i have seen the slippers there is not so much coming only few paragraphs they are working and their what are their composition not in depth okay you just have the numbers okay but make sure that you have your in here you should have their numbers like what are their composition for that like the composition and like how they are being selected like their tenure is for five years they should be a judge for a lower court in five years and their age should not be more than 60 or they should be so whatever the exact uh, selection criteria they have like what are the criteria required for the president so you need to be thorough with those keywords and the composition what is the exact number and these okay so make sure like here your keywords or your numbers should be perfect okay so like you can start with five and then you can finish with your civics max to max by 8 pm in three hours you would be able to do your civics part with thorough revision of your compositions like what are the exact numbers what are the exact uh, working standards what are their eligibility criteria everything you can finish within three hours so in short we can have 11 to 4 p.m we are going with history civics okay so this we are keeping for history first half of the day and in the second half of the day that is 5 from 8 p.m we will be finishing our civics simple okay and then if you really feel like no 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 i just want to do a bit revision more so what you can do from 8 to 9 p.m you can just take your history and civics book and you can just turn the pages and do a just a skimming of your book or you can just scan the book as soon as possible a just simple revision if you feel like or if you have your own handwritten notes or the notes where you have just having your keywords or the dates or the composition anything like for the war also you need like what are sarajevo crisis and who was the main archduke of france so whatever exact numbers exact dates like one what date the sarajevo crisis happened like so what is exact date so what those dates okay dates 
composition like what are the numbers of the number of members in the parliament what are the eligibility criteria uh, these important words like okay so these things you can just revise in 8 to 9 pm this revision you can do just thinking and or you can just take over the main points like what are the points like what are the uno um what are the un functions so you have the function peacekeeping it helps in the helping of the understanding of the between the countries and so on and so on okay so you can do this and tomorrow i believe you will be able to finish your history civics if you follow our timetable that we have suggested you and rest you can make the changes as per your needs or as per your learning power as per your revision style okay so that's it for our side and i hope it will help you and wishing you all the very best for your history civics exam stay tuned for the next video for the next subject all the very best